Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the Etihad for Man City against Newcastle. The stadium somewhere in the background there. It's about an hour or so till kickoff, and it's a fixture I have seen quite a few times. City always seems to come out on top. Historically, City have got more points against Newcastle than any other Premier League side. And also, it's a team Aguero does very well against. He scored more goals against them than against any other side. I think he's got 14 in his last 10 games. So. With all that in mind, I'm going to go with a 4-0 win. That's what I'm predicting. I think Aguero's going to bag two. One for Bernardo Silva and then one for Mares as well. That's my prediction. It's about an hour or so till kickoff. So I'm going to head into the stadium, maybe get some food, uh, and then we'll go on into the match. <laughs> It's about 20 minutes till kickoff. I'm just on my way now to my seat. But uh, they announced the lineup not too long ago, and it's really weird. They're playing two strikers up front. I'm not really too sure how they're lining up. I'll put a picture on screen now. Uh, but Bernardo Silva's not starting, so I'm going to change my prediction, sticking with the 4 0. But this time, I think uh, Sterling will score instead of Bernardo Silva. So, uh, as I said, it's like 20 minutes now till kickoff, so I'm just going to head over to my seat.
on guys, I'm back and I've literally just finished editing this video, it's taken me all day, I've put loads of effort into it, so hopefully up to now you guys have enjoyed it, but I realised I didn't really have a proper outro, so I thought I'd give you guys my thoughts on the game. So obviously I predicted a 4-0 win, I got past of it right, as I did say Sterling would score and he did end up getting on the score sheet with a really nice finish early on, I think in the 7th or 8th minute to put City into the lead, but it was 2-1 in the end, it was quite a tough game, I think City could have easily scored 4 or 5 goals had they taken their chances but they were very sloppy in the final third and they did have a lot of very good chances to score uh, but uh, either the keeper made a great save or the finish wasn't that good. Jesus had a goal disallowed for offside, there was an Aguero bicycle kick that nearly went in that was pretty mad, there was a 15 second passage of play that you guys will have seen where City had three or four really really clear cut chances and if it wasn't for Dubravka having an amazing game uh, I think easily one of those could have gone in especially from David Silva he had two shots in the space of about five seconds that were both very very close to getting in but I think we saw City without De Bruyne and how they suffer really from that I thought that it wouldn't really make too much impact because City already have great players like David Silva, Bernardo Silva as well, who can who can fulfil that role. But De Bruyne offers more penetration and going forward, City were lacking that. They get to the final third and they had so much of the ball, but then they couldn't really do anything with it. The final ball was lacking or the finish wasn't that good. And uh, in the end, the wingers would get the ball. They wouldn't really have an option to cross as they uh, had a box full of defenders. Newcastle did defend really well. They really packed the box and made it very hard to break down. And then the ball would just get passed back into midfield. And yeah, City would keep the ball lots, but they wouldn't really create much. But in the end, you can't complain. They ended up getting the win and it was a walker goal in I think the 50th minute they ended up sealing it and it was an amazing goal as well as from about 35 yards out and he just drilled it into the bottom corner past I think it went through about four or five players so it was a really really accurate finish and uh, yeah in the end I think City deserved to get the win they had a lot more shots I'm not sure how many but probably about 15 or so I think Newcastle only had two on target one of which obviously went in and one of which was a p-roller so I think City did deserve to win it could have been a lot more though but uh, if it wasn't for the, the good defense from Newcastle they did play pretty well and I mean they've got a 2-1 uh, loss now against Chelsea and against City and they've played quite well in both of those games so potentially um, the future could be looking bright for them although going forwards they didn't really do much at all they were just smashing up the pitch but I guess you can't really do much when you're playing a very very good side but anyway that was the final result and I think you can't really complain even though it was only a 2-1 win I mean, going into the international break, keeping the momentum up, also recovering from the draw against Wolves last week and getting three points. I think that's the most important thing. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. As I said, I've been editing it all day. Uh, so if you guys could leave a like on it, that would be very, very much appreciated. Also, if you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll try and do more of these videos throughout the season. Probably not for most of the smaller games. Uh, I just did this one as it was the first game I've been to the season. But for the big games, I will make sure I do more of these. Also, if you're wondering why the atmosphere was a bit dead, I was actually in the family end, which is the opposite end to where I normally am. If you guys have seen most of my other vlogs, the atmosphere is way better. And that's because I'm down at the far end next to the away fans. Same kind of position behind the goal but I couldn't get tickets there they'd already sold out um, that's where I sat all the last season for my vlogs but anyway hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you later take care